willkommen zurück, liebe Geschwister. Let us open with uh, a sign of prayer. Lasst uns mit einem stillen Gebet anfangen. in der Livestream Gruppe wieder gepostet. And in this last presentation for today, Und in die heutigen letzten Vortrag, I want to uh, share some thoughts about the destruction of the cities. Ich möchte einige Gedanken über die Zerstörung der Städte mitteilen. And we already saw, right, that here all these kings get punished. Und wir haben bereits gesehen, dass es hier ist, wo all diese Könige bestraft werden. And it's an illustration of the seventh plague. Und das right? ist eine Darstellung der siebten Plage. And just let's go to the Seventh plague again in Revelation chapter 16. So, lasst uns wieder in Offenbarung 16 zu der siebten Plage gehen. And let's read verse 19. In Vers 19. It says, And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. So here we can see the cities of the nation, nations fall. So here can we see that the cities of the nations will fall. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of His wrath. Okay, so in in our last presentation we saw that when we stand here like Daniel. In our last presentation we saw that when we stand here like Daniel. And we give now the prediction, this little book, and tell the king that unless he repents, 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 that unless he Repents. So, wir geben die Vorhersage, also diese kleine Buch, und wir sagen dem König, es sei denn, dass er Buße tut. Uh, that is, that he would basically return to how he began. Und wenn er Buße tut, das heißt ja, dass er wieder zurück zu dem Zustand kehren wird, wie er angefangen hat. Uh, that he would then, else he would be cut off here. Ansonsten wird er hier abgeschnitten werden. Okay, so, therefore... In our time here, and in our time, yeah. So we then also give a prediction, and the king will be punished. So we give also a prediction, and the king will be punished. Okay, but yeah, we saw that basically the the tree, the tower, and what else was in conjunction with that? Yes, the buildings. Yeah. So we have seen the tree, the tower, and what was there in connection with the two? It was the buildings. These great, great buildings. These great. Türme, große Gebäude. Yeah. They all illustrate the same thing that now the king gets punished. Right? Sie stellen alle dasselbe dar, nämlich dass der König bestraft wird. We saw this already illustrated at 9/11 in a typical sense. Und in eine typische um, Weise haben wir das bereits am 11. September gesehen. So here cities get punished. So hier die Städte werden bestraft. Um, <coughs> And the reason for these things, or for this punishment, and the reason for this punishment, we saw in our presentations was this merchandise and traffic that took over their mind. So we have in our presentations seen this handelstreibung and geschäftsmacherei, die ihre Verstand einnehmen. And this led basically to the self-seeking of gain. And that led to then to this selbstsüchtige Verlangen nach Gewinn, Eigengewinn. Which then also led to pride and oppression. Was führte zu Stolz und Unterdrückung. Which then also led to division in the kingdom. Was then führte zu Zerteilung innerhalb des Königreichs. And all these were reasons why then basically these powers got overthrown. Und all diese waren Gründe, warum diese Mächte zum Fall gekommen sind. And we saw basically that. Their own people, the waters, will turn against them. And we have seen that their own untertanen, their own folk, also the waters, will turn against them. When and we also saw that they, when they start boasting openly of their sin, which in our time is this serpent bite or serpent sting. And we have seen that when they openly praise of their sin, and in our time, this is this serpent bite here. This is also when their crown will be taken away. That is also when they do that. That marks also the point where their crown 
uh, ihr uh, entnommen wird. Yeah, because they no longer reflect the image of God and therefore they have no right of dominion. So, wenn sie das tun, dann um, spiegeln sie den Ebenbild Gottes nicht mehr und deswegen haben sie das Recht auf Herrschaft verloren. Yes, you remember. Konntet ihr erinnern? Okay, so then you will take away the crown and then you will give it to somebody else. So, ich werd, ihr werd, er wird ihre Krone wegnehmen und es einen anderen geben. Okay. So, now let's go to our notes. So, jetzt zu den Notizen. And in this presentation, yeah, we want to look at some principles that will already show, yeah, to some degree at, at least, what will happen at this punishment here. Okay. Und in diesem Vortrag wollen wir zeigen, zumindest in Maßen, gewissen Maßen, ähm, was geschehen werden ähm, bei dieser Bestrafung hier. And why we can be pretty sure that also Vienna will be hit. Okay. Und warum wir auch sicher sind, dass äh, Wien, der Stadt Wien, getroffen wird. Yeah. Pretty sure. So, okay. relativ yeah. sicher. Because, yeah, even though we don't have the full revelation yet, the Lord already gave us a lot of understanding, so we can already get more and more details together. Okay. So, und obwohl wir noch nicht die vollständige Offenbarung vom Herrn erhalten haben, wir haben bereits ähm, so viele Details von dem Herrn erhalten, das werden wir zusammenbringen. Yes. But it's still not enough to then give a prediction Aber because es yeah. ist immer noch nicht genug, um eine vollständige Vorhersage zu geben. Okay. Now let's go uh, to the first quote. So, gehen wir zu dem ersten Zitat. About the San Francisco earthquake. Spricht über diese Erdbeben in San Francisco. It says, when we reached San Francisco on our way home, we took a carriage and rode through the streets of the city for an hour and a half. We went up to Van Ness Avenue and on to our church building. The meeting house is still standing. It has sustained some damage, but can soon be repaired. It would have been a hard matter to arouse courage sufficient to rebuild it rebuilt if it had been destroyed. Beautiful Jefferson Park, close by the church property, is filled with tents and people. San Francisco in ruins is the most complete, thorough, awful calamity I have ever looked upon. In the night season, I have had many presentations of the judgments of God coming upon our cities. And now I can understand better the real meaning of these scenes that I have witnessed. So it's about these judgments of God that comes upon the cities. So sprichst du über diese Gerichte Gottes, die über die Städte kommen. Next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. In Micah we read, and then she quotes a certain portion of the book of Micah. So in Micha lesen wir, sagt sie, und dann zitiert sie gewisse Anteile von das Buch Micha. And those that of chapter 1 and chapter 2 we will read. Okay. Und diejenigen von Kapitel 1 und 2 werden wir lesen. At least the majority of it. Zumindest das meiste da. Okay, and then she goes on to say. Sie sagt weiter. Oh, how soon the scenes of destruction and desolation will come and be universal. We cannot tell. Be also ready, saith the Lord, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. So the destruction of the cities, what is she tying together with? Also die Zerstörung der Städte, mit was verbindet sie es? Yeah, with the coming of the Lord, das right? des Herrn. which is the seventh plague. Was der siebte plague ist. Okay, so obviously here it's only typified. No, right? Natürlich hier ist das nur vorausgeschaut. Okay, then she goes on to say, and she backs up what she says here with further scriptures. Und dann sagt sie weiter und sie unterstützt, was sie gerade gesagt hat, mit weiteren Schriftstellen. She says, in Habakkuk we read, and then she quotes chapter 2. So in Habakkuk lesen wir und dann zitiert sie Kapitel 2. And then she says in Zephaniah we read. Und dann in Zephania lesen wir. And then she quotes the entire book of Zephaniah. Und sie zitiert das ganze Buch Zephanias. And then she says in connection with these scriptures, read the first four chapters of the prophecy of Zechariah and the entire book of Malachi. Okay? So if you want to understand why the judgments of God come upon the cities, read these scriptures. So, wenn du verstehen möchtest, warum die Gerichte Gottes über diese Städte kommen, dann diese Schriftstellen sollte man lesen. She then goes on to say, sagt weiter, These scenes will soon be witnessed, just as they are clearly described. I present these wonderful statements from the scriptures for the consideration of everyone. The prophecies recorded in the Old Testament are the word of the Lord for the last days or for the last day, and will be fulfilled as surely as we have seen the desolation of San Francisco. Okay, so they are the scriptures for our time. So, das sind die Schriftstellen für unsere Zeit. 
Ja. No. Yes. Und yes. sie stellt es auch parallel mit einem yes, San Francisco Earthquake, yes. Because Revelation 11, when the two witnesses are raised up in yes. the earthquake. So in yeah. Offenbarung 11, when the two um, Zeugen auferweckt werden, es gibt ein großes Erdbeben. And also in the seventh plague, there's this mm -hmm. great earthquake. Auch in der siebten Plage gibt es diese große Erdbeben. Okay, now let's remind us of the principle. So, jetzt erinnern wir uns an ein Prinzip. This principle. Dieses Prinzip. So let's read the next quote. So lesen wir jetzt diesen nächsten Zitat. God has revealed in his law the principles that underlie all true prosperity, both of nations and of individuals. This is your wisdom and your understanding, Moses declared to the, to the Israelites of the law of God. It is not a vain thing for you because it is your life. The blessings thus assured to Israel are on the same conditions and in the same degree assured to every nation and every individual under the broad heavens. Yeah. So here she ties together nations, individuals, and the church. So right? here bindet sie zusammen Nationen, die Gemeinde und Einzelpersonen. So they are all governed and judged by the same principles. So die werden alle regiert und richtet nach denselben Prinzipien. And and therefore, when we go, for instance, to the, those scriptures that she quoted in the earlier. So und deswegen, wenn wir zu diesen Schriftstellen gehen, die wir in die Zitaten zuvor ähm, sie zitierte hat. Yeah, there she obviously speaks about Israel. Right? Sie spricht da natürlich über Israel. Okay, but you can apply the same principles why the Lord punished Israel, why he will punish the nations. Aber du kannst denselben Prinzipien in diesen Schriftstellen, warum Gott Israel bestraft hat, auf die Nationen anwenden. Okay, so now let's continue. So lass uns fortsetzen. And we will see now when we go to the book of Micah while he will Executed the judgment. Und wir werden sehen, wenn wir zum Buch Micha kommen, warum er das Gericht ausführt. So Job 34, 29. So Job 34, Vers 29. Says, when he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him? Whether it be done against a nation or against a man only. So here we see nation and individuals uh, likened to each other. So here in diesem Vers können wir sehen, dass Nationen und Einzelpersonen ähm, sind miteinander verglichen in diesem Fall. And we also know the Daniel 2 statue, it's kingdoms, but it's illustrated as a man. Und wir verstehen, der Daniel 2 Statue ist, stellt Königreiche dar, aber es wird dargebildet als ein Mann. And also we studied here at this camp meeting. Und wir haben auch an diese camp meeting studiert. Uh, men are what? Menschen Beasts. sind Beasts. Beasts. Yeah. Tiere. Yes. Okay, so... Nation and also kingdoms and individuals are the same. So, Königreiche und Einzelpersonen sind dasselbe. Okay, next uh, quote. Nächster Zitat. Instead of being a protector of man, Babylon became a proud and cruel oppressor. The words of inspiration picturing the cruelty and greed of rulers in Israel reveal the secret of Babylon's fall and of the fall of many another kingdom since the world began. So, <clears throat> All these kingdoms, they fell because they manifested the same spirit that was prevalent in the church. Right? So, all these Königreiche sind gefallen, weil sie dieselben Geist manifestiert haben, die in der Gemeinde vorhanden war. Yes? Amen? Okay, because it was the, the cruelty of the rulers of Israel that basically also was manifested by these other kingdoms. Es war die Grausamkeit der Regierende in Israel, die durch all diese andere Königreiche manifestiert ist. Okay, now let's go to Micah chapter 1. Jetzt äh, gehen wir zu Micha, Kapitel 1. And we will read the verse 1 to 3. Wir lesen die ersten drei Versen. It says, and remember, this is why I quoted Micah chapter 1 as a illustration for the punishment on the cities. Und gedenke, dass Ellen White Micha Kapitel 1 äh, zitiert hat als eine Darstellung für die Bestrafung auf die Städte. Says the word of the Lord that came to Micah the Morashite, Morashite, in the days of Jotham and Ahaz and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. So it's now something he sees concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Es ist irgendetwas, was er sieht bezüglich Samaria und Jerusalem. Verse 2. Verse 2. Hear, all ye people, hearken, O earth, and all that therein is, and let the Lord God be witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. 
For behold, the Lord cometh forth out of his place, and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. Okay, so when the Lord comes now forth out of his place, out of his temple, what is he coming to do? So when the Herr hervorkommt aus seinem Platz, aus seinem Tempel her, uh, für was kommt er? Um zu tun. To punish. Yeah, to punish, right? Um zu bestrafen. Because when we go to Isaiah 26, Denn wenn wir zu Jesaja 26 gehen, uh, Verse 21. Vers 21. It says, For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place, which is his temple, right? Also Ort ist sein Tempel, wovon er kommt. To punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall declose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So that's the seventh plague, right? Das ist der siebte Plage. So here in Micah, in verse 3, so Micha, Vers 3, when he now comes forth out of his place, when he comes forth out of his place, when he comes forth out he will do what? He will tread upon the high places of the earth. Tun, okay. Es sagt hier, dass er wird die Höhen der Erde zertreten. Okay, I just mark now here high places. I don't put it on the line. So, so I just markiere hier um, die Höhen der Erde, also Höhenorte der Erde markieren, also das ist nirgendwo auf der Linie yeah. um, zu markieren hier, das And ist nur auf der Tafel. We'll see what they represent. Okay. Und wir werden sehen, was sie darstellen. But Let's go now first to, to the literal meaning of what the high places represent. Aber lasst uns jetzt zuerst zu den Buchstäblichen oder der natürlichen Bedeutung, was diese Höhen der Erde bedeuten. Let's go to the next quote. Gehen wir zur nächsten Zitat. It says, but Josiah persevered in his effort to cleanse the land. Sternly he met idolatry by slaying all the priests of the high places. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirits and the wizards and the images and the idols and all these other things. So the high places was a place where they committed idolatry. Okay. Also diese Höhen der Erde ist ein Ort, wo sie uh, Götzendienst betrieben haben. Yes, the Catholic Empire here, yes. in a lot of the cities, the churches are on a hill overlooking the cities or in the Yes, exactly. So, hier in diesem katholischen Land, in den Städten, viele von den Kirchen sind auf Höhenorten gebaut worden, dass sie über den Stadt schauen. Yes, and I think it was even, I don't know if it was a law, but it was like a custom that the church always was the highest building in the village or the city. Und ich weiß nicht, ob das ein Gesetz war, aber auf jeden Fall war es ein Brauch, oder ein Brauch, dass den, äh, den Stadt die Kirche in ein Dorf oder in eine Kleinstadt war auf die höchste Stelle gebaut. Oh, was also the highest building. Es war auch den höchsten Gebäude. Okay, um, now let's go back to Micah, chapter 1. So, gehen wir zurück zu Micha, Kapitel 1. And the mountains shall be molten under him, and the valleys shall be cleft, as wax before the fire, and as the waters that are poured down a steep place. For the transgression of Jacob is all this, and for the sins of the house of Israel. What is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? Okay, so the Lord punishes them now because of what's happened in Samaria. So, bis Vers 5 haben wir gelesen, der Herr bestraft sie hier um, wegen das, was erst in Samaria passiert ist. And also the high places of Judah. Und auch die Höhenstellen von Jerusalem. So it's basically because of their idol worship. So okay. im Grunde ist es wegen ihrem Götzendienst. Okay. Now 6 and 7. Die Verse 6 und 7. And I think, uh, yes, I just remember now, um, let's go quickly to in our Bibles, to Hosea chapter 8. Und ich erinnere mich, gehen wir in unseren Bibeln zu Hosea Kapitel 8. Because that speaks about the sin of Samaria. Denn da spricht es über die Sünde von Samaria. Samaria. Hosea 8. And then verse 5. Und Vers 5. It says, Thy calf, O Samaria, hath cast thee off. Mine anger is kindled against them. How long will it be ere ear they attain to innocency? And so it was the golden calf. It was the sin of Samaria. So it was the calf that the sin of Samaria was. So, it's idol worship. This is God's deeds. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, verse 6 and 7. Micha, the verse 6 and 7, yes. It says, Therefore I will make Samaria as an heap of the field, 
and as plantings of a vineyard, and I will pour down the stones thereof into the valley, and I will discover the foundations thereof, and all the graven images thereof shall be beaten to pieces, and all the hires thereof shall be burnt with a fire, and all the idols thereof will I lay desolate. For she gathered it of the hire of an harlot, and they shall return to the hire of an harlot. Okay, so here we can see the Lord will then destroy all these idols. So right? here can we see the Herr wird all these Götzen zerstören. Okay. And, and basically in verse 6 it says uh, he will also destroy Samaria and pour down the stones thereof into the valley. And here in verse 6 it says that he will Samaria zerstören wird and all the stones dessen in den Tal schmeißen. And what happened ja. to, to the stones of Jerusalem? Und was geschah mit den Steinen in Jerusalem? Not one stone was yes, not one stone was left on another. Ein einziger oh. Stein auf dem anderen gelassen. Which was 9-11. Yes. 11. Okay. September. So ground yes, yes. Zero. Ground Zero, yes. <laughs> It's actually a nice point. Micah 1, verse 6 and 7. Ah, okay. And uh, so... These are now the verses that she quoted about chapter 1. So, these sind die Versen, die sie über Kapitel 1 zitiert hat. But then also she quoted some verses from chapter 2. Aber dann aber hat sie auch einige Versen von Kapitel 2 zitiert. So, chapter 1 tells us it's because of this idolatry that he will punish them. So, Kapitel 1 okay. sagt uns, dass es wegen diesem Götzendienst ist, dass er sie bestrafen wird. And we already saw the idol of the kings at the moment is the serpent sting, right? Wir haben auch gesehen bereits, dass den Götze der Könige in unserer Zeit ist diese Schlangenbiss. Yeah, because the idol of the kings in the Sunday law will be the Sunday law, right? Und der Götze der Könige in der Sonntagsgesetzkrise wird eben der Sonntagsgesetz sein. Okay, now let's go to Micah chapter 2. So, Micha, Kapitel 2. Up uh, in verse 1 and 2. Die Versen 1 und 2. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity, and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of the hand. And they covered fields, and take them by violence in, view, in houses, and take them away, so they oppress a man and his house, even a man his heritage, and his heritage. Okay, so what do they do here? So what do they here? Oppress the wicked plans in secret. Yes, okay. Also, sie machen Pläne ins Geheim. And then when the day comes, they could execute that plan that they've made. Yes. Secret. Wenn der Tag kommt, dann werden sie diese Pläne, die sie ins Geheim geschmieden haben, ausführen. Because yeah. they have the power. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Weil sie eben die Macht haben, es zu tun. So they abuse their power, right? So sie missbrauchen ihre Macht. So that's another point where you can see. So das ist ein weiterer Punkt, das wir sehen können. Ein Missbrauch von Macht. Because the Lord at the beginning he only gives them power to a build and to protect the nation, right? Denn der Herr am Anfang gibt sie nur Macht, um die Nation aufzubauen und zu beschützen. Yeah, he never gives them power to abuse. Er gibt sie nie Macht, dass sie es missbrauchen können. Okay. And um, and it says here they they devise in verse one devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Right? So, Vers 1 es sagt, dass sie schmieden Bösheit und äh, machen Pläne in ihrem ähm, in ihrem Bett. Yeah. And then in verse 2 it says, and they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses they take and take them away. So, where do we have a story where the king coveted? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The field or a vineyard, yes. So it was der Geschichte, wo David, David begehrt hat, also diesen Weinberg von, uh, what do you call Nabot? Nabot. Ahab was it. Ahab. 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 Oh, it was Ahab. Oh, Ahab. 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 Also Ahab, es war nicht David, es war Ahab. Yeah. Ahab uh, covered Naboth's vineyard. Uh, begehrte uh, Nabot sein Weinberg. So let's go to the story. So lass uns zu dieser Geschichte gehen. First Kings 21. Erste Könige 21. In um, verse 2. Und in Vers 2. And Ahab spake unto Naboth, saying, Give me thy vineyard, that I may have it for a garden of herbs, because it is near unto my house. And I will give thee for it a better vineyard than it. Or if it seem good to thee, I will give thee the worth of, of it in money. And Naboth, Naboth said to Ahab, The Lord forbid it, that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee. And Ahab came into the, his house, heavy and displeased because of the word which Naboth the Jezreelite had spoken to him. 
For he had said, I will not give thee the inheritance of my fathers. And he laid down upon his bed and turned away his face and would eat no bread. So he's now on his bed, right? So he befindet sich jetzt auf seinem Bett. Like in Micah chapter 2. Genau so in Micha Kapitel 2. And now the woman yes, sits yes, on now, his mind. Exactly. Und okay. jetzt kommt die Frau und sitzt auf seinen Verstand. So now the woman comes and he devises now mischief or iniquity on his bed. Okay. Die Frau kommt und er schmiedet also Ungutes um, auf sein Bett. Vers 5. Vers 5. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said unto him, Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest no bread? And he said unto her, Because I spake unto Naboth the Jezreelite, and said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money, or else, if it please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. And Jezebel his wife said unto him, Dost thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? So what is she basically suggesting to him? So what was understands she him? She's flattering him that he has all this power and he can yes. do what he wants with it. Exactly. Yeah, so mm -hmm. she schmeichelt him that he all this power has and that he is in the position to do what he wants. Is it not in thine hand to exercise your power? Okay. So, liegt es nicht in deine hand, deine Macht auszuüben? Mm -hmm. Arise and eat bread and let thine heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Arise, go down to meet Ahab, king of Israel which is in Samaria. Behold, he is in the vineyard of Naboth, whither he is gone down to possess, possess it. Ah, oh, sorry. The ten, ten verses yes. jumped over. Okay. <laughs> so it's verse 17 and 18. Right? Verse 17, right? And then verse 19. verse 19. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Hast thou killed, and also taken possession? And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, in the place where dogs lick the blood of Naboth, shall dogs lick thy blood, even thine. Okay, so this is when the Lord brings it back upon his head. So this is when the Herr das selber auf seine eigenen Haupt zurückbringt. So we can see that when they abuse their power, eventually the Lord will take things in his own hands and he will bring it back on them. So we can see that when they their Macht missbrauchen, the Herr wird letztendlich das in seine eigenen Hand nehmen und es auf ihrem Häuptern zurückbringen. The Lord is the defender of the poor. Right? So let's go to back to Micah chapter 2. Verses 3 to 5. It says, Therefore, because they abused their power, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. So he brings this evil day upon them. So he brings these böse Tage über sich. Okay. Verse 4. Verse 4. This iron yoke. Right? This iron yoke. And in that day shall one take up a parable against you and lament with a doleful lamentation and say, We be utterly spoiled. He hath changed the portion of my people. How hath he removed it from me? Turning away, he hath divided our fields. Therefore, thou shalt have none that shall cast a court by lot in the congregation of the Lord. So this, this yeah, casting of court by Lord was, was for the inheritance, yes? Also diese Werfen der Seil per, uh, nach Los, das war für den Erbteil. Yeah, in, the, in the promised land. In das verheißene Land. So basically when you abuse your power, also wenn du deine Macht missbrauchst, you will have no part in God's kingdom. Du wirst okay. keinen Anteil in Gottes Königreich haben. No part in the inheritance. Kein Teil in der Erbe haben. And we must understand this applies to nations. Wir müssen wieder verstehen, dass dies ist Nationen anzuwenden. Church. Die Gemeinde. And individuals. Und okay. aber auch Einzelpersonen. So we always need to guard these things in our own selves. Okay. So wir müssen immer diese Dinge in uns selbst äh, behüten. Okay. Auch vor diese Dinge behüten. Now let's uh, continue. So fahren wir fort. Let's look at another. Principle. Lass uns ein weiteres Prinzip anschauen. Um, next quote. Nächster Zitat. True education includes the whole being. It teaches the right use of oneself. Of oneself. It enables us to make the best use of brain, bone and muscle, of body, mind and heart. The faculties of the mind as the higher powers are to rule the kingdom of the body. So, yeah. Our body is a kingdom. So, unsere Leib ist ein Königreich. And our mind 
is the higher powers. Und unser Verstand ist der höhere Macht. And they are to rule the kingdom, right? Und der höhere Macht soll das Königreich regieren. So therefore our mind is, uh, is the government. In, us, right? in uns, in unserem Leib, unserem Verstand mm -hmm. ist die Regierung. In a very, should be, you know, in, in, a, in a very typical sense, because you, you can't really be that until you've got the new birth. Mm -hmm. It's only then that the... Yes, but that's at least how the Lord... Yeah, they, yes. right? The also mind should be the govern, governing power of so the body. So is this, wie der Herr es bestimmt hat. Also wir sind natürlich von diesem Zustand etwas abgefallen. Okay. It says, so. then the natural appetites and passions are to be brought under the control of the conscience and the spiritual affections. Okay, so, and the higher powers is also mentioned in Romans 13. Und diese right? höhere Mächten ist auch in Römer 13 erwähnt. But this is now not the individual level, but the national level. Aber right? in Römer 13, das ist nicht mehr der Einzelpersonenebene, sondern das Ebene der Nation. So here it says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, the government. Right? Hier sagt es in Römer 13, jeder Seele sollte der Regierung unterstellt werden, also die höhere Mächten. Okay, so therefore, the mind or the head is the government of the body which is the kingdom right? so deswegen der verstand oder der kopf ist die regierung von das leib was das königreich ist okay thanks okay everybody follows konnte jeder folgen yes okay Next quote. Next citat. And now we will look at what the high places represent. Und jetzt werden wir anschauen, was diese höhere Orte der Erde ähm, darstellen. Spiritually. Geistlich gesehen. Because we saw that the Lord will come down to tread down the high places, this idolatry. Denn okay. wir haben gesehen, dass der Herr herabsteigen werden, um diesen höheren Orte der Erde zu zertreten. Also, und das bedeutet Götzendienst. Now let's read the next quote. Nächster citat jetzt von PH. God has said that if the man connected with this institution would walk humbly and obediently in purity of life doing the will of God, it would live and prosper. And from it would be sent forth missionaries to bless others with the light that God has given them. These will, these missionaries, these will in the spirit of Jesus demolish the idols in high places. They will unveil superstition and plan truth, purity and holiness, where now are cherished only error, self-indulgence, intemperance and iniquity. Okay, so and when they now share the truth with other people, so when they use the truth with other people, yeah, they will demolish all their high places. They will demolish all these higher places and destroy them. This idolatry. Right? This Götzendienst. Yes, and where where is your idolatry? Taking place in, in you. Und im Einzelperson, wo findet diesen Götzendienst statt? Yes, in your mind, in right? Verstand. Because this is where it says there's all there will truth, purity, and holiness will take place where now error, self-indulgence, intemperance, iniquity is that's in your mind or your heart, right? Also, Wahrheit, Reinheit und Heiligkeit werde da stattfinden, wo jetzt nur äh, Selbstsucht und ähm, Unmäßigkeit und Bösheit stattfindet. So the high places is also just an illustration of the head, but so it's your mind. Yeah? Höhere Stellen is auch nur eine Darstellung von das Kopf, also das Verstand. So it's also here illustrating this, this government, right? Stellt auch hier dieses Regierung. Yes, and, and there will be able to place the idols in it, right? Yes, exactly. In Turm yes. Babel haben sie diese Götzen darin gestellt. Yes. So... <coughs> these, these idols would be the woman, right? Mm -hmm. Proverbs 7 woman. Yes. Götzen werde diese Frau, also diese Frau von Sprüchen. Yeah, because this woman leads you to do all these things. Okay. Diese Frau führt dich, all diese Sachen zu tun. Mm -hmm. Because at the beginning the kings, they start off good, but then the woman comes along and tempts you to commit all these things. Weil die Könige am Anfang haben gut angefangen, aber als sie ähm, vorangehen, dann kommt die Frau und versucht dich, all diese Dinge denn zu tun. Okay. So... Now let's go to Genesis chapter 3. So, lasst uns jetzt zu 1. Buch Mose, Kapitel 3 gehen. Verse 15. Vers 15. Speaking about the head. Spricht über den Kopf. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So, 
when does Satan's head get bruised? So when wird Satan's Kopf summoned? Uh, at the end, right? Am Ende. When the head of the dragon gets bruised. Wenn right? der Kopf der Drache zertreten wird. And this is in Psalm 74. Und das befinden wir in Psalm 74. That's why the Satan fell from heaven like lightning. Lightning hit the top of the tower, the yes. head of the tower. Yes. Exactly. So, das ist wie als Satan von Himmel wie Blitz gefallen ist. Also der Blitz am Turm Babel, es hat ganz oben ähm, den Turm von Babel getroffen, also den Verstand. Und Dagon, diesen Fischgott, äh, sein Kopf ist abgefallen, yes. Kopf und Hände. Okay, so now let's just read Psalm 74, verse 13 and 14. Psalm 74, die Verse 13 und 14. Because that says, thou didst divide the sea by their strength. That's the Red Sea. Er hat den Meer geteilt durch seine Stärke, das ist der Rote Meer. Thou breakest the heads of the dragons in the waters. So Pharaoh is this dragon that gets no, his head gets no punished. Pharaoh is this Drache, der bestraft wird, also in mitten des Meer, also sein Kopf. So here, therefore, we can see, here is it where the government will be getting punished, okay? So, here is this eben, wo wir sehen kann, uh, wo die Regierung bestraft wird. Okay, so let me just erase this for now. Ich nehme dies hier weg. Okay. Let's continue. Lesen wir weiter. Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14. Vers 3 to 7. Die Versen 3 bis 7. It says, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage when thou wast made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. Okay. Yeah, so we see, yeah, this is where we already looked at this, this is where the oppressor sees. So das haben wir bereits angeschaut, es ist hier, wo der Unterdrucker ähm, hört auf. And then the consequence is in verse 7. In Vers 7, der Resultat davon ist, The whole earth is at rest and is quiet, they break forth into singing. So that's now the time of peace. Das right? ist dann der Zeit des Friedens. Okay. Der Zeit des Friedens. Okay. And in Isaiah 14, verse 12. Isaiah 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Yeah, this is also something we already looked at. This is auch eine Sache, die wir auch bereits angeschaut haben. Yeah, so Lucifer gets cut, cut down and he weakens the nations, right? Und Lucifer wird um, abgehauen und er hat die Nationen geschwächt. Because at the beginning, when he was perfect, he protected and upbuilt the nation. So, am Anfang, als er perfekt erschaffen worden ist, er hat die Nation aufgebaut und beschützt. But then he lifted himself up because of this traffic and merchandise and because of his beauty. Und dann hat er sich erhoben wegen dieser Handelsbetreibung und Geschäftstuerei und natürlich auch seine Schönheit. Uh, and he became a proud and cruel presser. Und er ist ein stolzer und grausamer Unterdrücker geworden. And from this moment on, he didn't fulfill God's purpose any longer, but he now weakened the nations instead of upbuilding it. Und okay. von diesem Moment an, der hat nichts mehr Gottes Bestimmung für ihn erfüllt, indem dass er die Nation beschützt und erbaut, sondern er hat sie unterdrückt um, und uh, oppressed and weakened und geschwächt. Yes. Okay, so therefore we can see whenever the government begins to oppress his subjects, that's actually weaken, weakening the Country. Okay. So, deswegen können wir immer, äh, wenn immer wir sehen, dass die Regierenden, deren Untertanen ähm, äh, äh, unterdrücken. unterdrücken, dann schwächen sie die Nation. Okay, in the oppression we saw is especially about forcing one's conscience. Okay. Und die Unterdrückung, wie wir gesehen haben, ist insbesondere, dass du den Gewissen zwingst. Because it says here, we continue to say in verse 13 and 14. Denn es sagt weiter hier, Isaiah, die Verse 13 und 14. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of congregation in the sides of the north. So this is where he, you know, reached unto heaven, right? 
Das ist wo er bis in den Himmel reichte. And where he now combines church and state and starts to force the conscience. Und wo er Staat und Kirche zusammenbringt und fängt an die, den Gewissen zu zwingen. Yes. Amen. Okay. And now let's just go to uh, the next quote. Und jetzt gehen wir zur nächsten Zitat. We already read this quote many times in the class. So wir haben diesen Zitat öfters in der Klasse gelesen. Uh, where now the pioneers compare the compulsory serpent bite with <laughs> with the inquisition so wo die pioniere vergleichen diese zwangsschlangenbiss ähm, mit der ähm wo ist die inquisition again? inquisition inquisition okay so as you The Church Times, that was a paper back then. Also, die Gemeinde Zeiten, das war ein Zeitschrift damals, the Church Times. Commenting on the failure of the proposal in Parliament to make vaccination universally compulsory, says, now quote of this Church Times. So, it's a Zitat von diesem, the Church Times. Says, if there is anything in vaccination statistics, or if it is believed to be a safeguard against the disease of smallpox, it is absurd to allow the conscientious objector to roam at large. He is as great a danger to the community as a mad dog. End of quote. So now the pioneers comment on this. So let's the pioneers comment on that. We're going to just watch the language because it'll get picked up, even if you're reading it from a quote. Doesn't matter. I'm going to do anything against it. Okay. Without expressing any opinion as to the value of the serpent bite, it seems evident that such language as this breatheth the very spirit of the Roman Catholic Inquisition. And so here now they compare the serpent bite with the, or the compulsory serpent bite with the Inquisition. So here vergleichen sie diese Zwangsschlangenbiss mit der Inquisition. Same spirit, right? It's, Deselbe Geist. It's oppression, it's, it's forcing your conscience. Es ist Unterdrückung, es ist wo sie dein Gewissen zwingen. If it is considered absurd to allow the conscientious objector to the opinions of the majority on this subject to roam at large, the next step would be to cage the conscientious dissenter from the established church. And so back then they already wanted to cage in the conscientious objector of the serpent bite. Right? So, selbst dann, äh, damals, wollten sie einkerkern, also diese oh, überzeugte äh, Schlangenbissverweigerer. Mm. Yes, uh, and, and this is the same today. Und das ist eben dasselbe heute. Uh, so, lockdown for non-serpent bite people, so right? So, lockdowns for all die, die es verweigern. Okay, so, <coughs> let's continue. So, lesen wir weiter. It says, mm, and a question arises here. If vaccination be indeed a safeguard against smallpox, How can a conscientious objector be as dangerous as a mad dog? What harm could he do in a community of certain bited people or persons? Okay, so that's uh, the question we need to ask ourselves. Okay. So this is the Frage, die wir uns stellen müssen. Okay. So let's go now to the next to the next principle. So gehen wir jetzt zu diesem nächsten Prinzip über. Because we can see yeah, when they introduced this year. They bring in the same spirit as the Roman Catholic Inquisition. Man, we can see that when they do this here, they bring the same spirit as the Roman Catholic Inquisition. Yeah, so they now begin to oppress you. 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 So they now begin to Rome, the little horn, okay, also in Daniel 8. Über Rome, der kleine horn in Daniel 8. This power was to come forth from one of the four kingdoms of Alexander's empire. Let us remember that nations are not brought into prophecy till somehow connected with the people of God. So when do kingdoms play a prophetic significance? So when is it, when Königreich eine prophetische Bedeutung einnehmen? They have a direct Effect upon God's people. Yes. When they have a direct influence on God's people. And at the moment, uh, it's this movement that is God's people in the sense that it's being tested. Okay. And at the moment, it is this movement that is God's people in the sense that it is us that are tested. Yes. 
then so therefore which nation at the moment is the nation that wants to force the serpent bite upon God's people so deswegen welche nation ist es gerade in unserer geschichte die diesen schlangenbiss auf gottes volk erzwingen möchten Austria, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying that it's only doing that yeah. because the United States is the one pushing it all. I mean, yes. Biden is clearly pushing. Also, the USA is this auch, weil Österreich wird das nicht tun, wenn den USA dies nicht um, stark befordern wird. Yes. And yeah, so we see Austria. Yeah, they affect us at the moment. Okay. So we can see that Österreich sie haben einen Effekt auf uns im Moment. So they will play a prophetic. A role, a significant role. Okay. So, die werden denn eine prophetische Rolle spielen. Germany is the next in the pipeline. Deutschland is next in the Reihe. Yeah, and then there will be other countries doing it where also people part of this present truth movement are situated. Und dann werde es auch andere Ländern, die folgen werden, worin Menschen von diesen gegenwärtigen Wahrheit sich befinden. Yeah, and they then become part of the prophetic narrative. Okay. Und dann ab diesem Punkt, sie werden ein Teil von der prophetischen Erzählung werden. And then all these principles that we looked at will take effect, right? Und dann all diese Prinzipien, die wir bereits angeschaut haben, werden in Kraft treten. So therefore when the Lord says, I will come down and tread down upon the high places. So dann wenn der Herr sagt, ich werde herabkommen und auf diese höhere Orten oder diese höhere Stellen treten. Because you abused your power, you you oppressed the people weil du dein macht missbraucht hast du hast den volk unterdrückt uh, it clearly speaks about now for us here the austrian government right das spricht für uns hier sehr klar der österreichische regierung but also the german government when they will also do the same right? aber auch das deutsche regierung wenn sie denn im folge dasselbe tun and all the other governments that will do the same that are connected with god's people this present truth movement und all die anderen regierungen die dasselbe tun werden die in Verbindung mit Gottes Volk sind, also diese gegenwärtige mm. Wahrheit Bewegung. So, and with the present truth movement in this sense, I don't refer so much to Jeff and Parminder's group because they are not being tested. At the Und in der gegenwärtigen Wahrheit Bewegung, wenn ich das meine, ich beziehe das nicht so sehr auf Jeff und Parminder und so weiter, weil sie sind gerade in dieser Zeit nicht getestet. Yeah, but all those that are part of this present truth group, group, uh, group movement uh, since yeah, 2020. Okay. Aber all diejenigen, die eine Teil von dieser gegenwärtigen Wahrheitsbewegung sind seit 2020. Yes. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right. So therefore we can expect that the Austrian government will be punished if they now make head and tails of this. Okay. So, deswegen können wir erwarten, dass die österreichische Regierung bestraft werden, wenn sie dies durchsetzen. And if they don't repent in this time. Und natürlich, wenn sie in dieser Zeit dann kein Buße tun, äh, nichts Buße tun werden. Okay. So, let's continue. So, lass uns fortsetzen. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 8 and 9. Isaiah 7, die Versen 8 und 9. It says, For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezin. And within three score and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it shall be that it be not a people. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. If you will not believe, surely ye shall not be established. Okay, so what do we see here? So what can we here see? The son, the capital, and the kingdom are all the head. Well, I mean. Yeah, the capital is the head of the kingdom, right? So, das, the Hauptstadt is the Haupt des Königreichs. Sure. And the, capital, the head of the capital is the government. Yeah, the, Und yeah, der Haupt von der Hauptstadt ist die Regierung, also der König. Okay, so, therefore, yeah, we saw the Lord, he will crush the head, right? So, wir haben gesehen, dass der Herr wird der, der Haupt zermahnen. Yeah, so, the head is not only then the government, but it's also... The, ca the capital, right? So, der Haupt in diesem Sinne ist nicht nur der Regierung, sondern auch der Hauptstadt. So, and what is the capital of Austria? Und was ist der Hauptstadt Österreichs? Vienna. Vienna. Das ist okay. Vienna. Okay. Ja, Vienna. And so, you know, therefore we can see that not only the government will be punished. So, deswegen okay. können wir sehen, dass nicht nur die Regierung wird bestraft, but also Vienna. Aber auch Wien wird bestraft. 
Yes. Und auch der Regierung hat sein Amt oder seinen Sitz in Wien. Exactly. And we will look at this further. Das werden wir näher anschauen. And obviously also all these other governments and capital cities where the same principles will take place. Okay. Und auch diese andere Regierungen und Hauptstädten, ähm, die Länder, wo diese selbe äh, Umstände stattfinden. And where they force this vaccination upon you. Okay. Wo sie diesen Schlangenbiss ah. erzwingen. Yes. Certain right. Okay. okay. <coughs> um, Make a copy of this one, David. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, continue. So, let's uh, uh, Revelation 2, verse 13. Offenbarung 2, Vers 13. It says, speaking about the church of Pergamos. Da spricht über der Gemeinde Pergamos. And Pergamos, uh, in the sequence of history, was the time of Constantine, right? Und Pergamos in der Geschichte Reihenfolge war zur Zeit von Konstantin. Yeah, Constantine down to the papacy. So die Zeit von Konstantin bis zu der Papst. Yeah, was the time of pagan Rome when they basically assumed the Christian character. Es war der Zeit von heidnischen Rom, wo sie diese ja, christliche Gewand überzog. It says I know thy works and where thou dwellest even where Satan's seat is and thou Holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith, even in those days where Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. Okay, Satan's seat back then was therefore where? So Satan's Haupt oder sein Sitz war damals wo? Rome. Was the city of Rome, yes. The Stadt Rome. Yeah, the capital. Der Hauptstadt. Yeah, so Satan sits always in the capital. So yeah. Satan sits immer im Hauptstadt. He sits on the government. Er sitzt okay. auf die Regierungen. He is this woman on the minds of the kings. Er ist okay. diese Frau auf den Verstand der Könige. And just to prove that the pioneers also understood Satan's seat to be Rome. Und that's... um zu beweisen, dass die Pioniere das auch verstanden haben, dass Satan sein Sitz Rom war. So let's go to uh, the next quote, just a bold faced. Gehen wir zu diesem nächsten Zitat, also nur das Fett gedruckt. So there's another passage in the book of Revelation referring to Rome speaks of it as where Satan's seat is. Revelation 2.13. Okay, so Satan controls the government in the capital city. So yes. Satan kontrolliert die Regierung in der Hauptstadt. And there he will be punished. Und es ist da, wo yeah. er bestraft wird. In the midst of the seas. In okay. mitten der Meere. So, and it's interesting, yeah, when you go to Google Maps, das ist you, interessant, wenn du Google Maps anschaust, and you look at Vienna, wenn du Wien anschaust, yeah, you can see the government building is right in the center of Vienna. Du kannst die Regierungsgebäude sehen, dass es genau inmitten von Wien befindet. Okay. And when you look at 9/11, und wenn wir 11. September in Betracht ziehen, how many planes were there? Also wie viele Flugzeuge gab es? I mean there were four, right? Es gab vier. Two in each building. Also eine in den jeweiligen Gebäuden. Yeah. One into the Pentagon. So eine ins Pentagon. And the fourth one was to go where? Und der vierte sollte wohin? The White House. Das right? White House. So basically uh, had economic, military and the head, the, the government was to be so punished. Right? Du hattest den Wirtschaft, du hattest den Militär und dann hattest du auch die Regierung, also das Haupt. Yeah. But the Lord back then he did not allow this third strike to come to pass. Damals der Herr hat diesen dritten Anschlag nicht erlaubt. Okay, and also the throne. Uh, when we go to Revelation chapter 22. Und auch den Thron. Also wenn wir in unseren Bibeln zu Offenbarung 22 gehen. Yeah, the throne of God in the holy city. Der Thron Gottes in der heilige Stadt. When you read Revelation 22, verse 1 and 2. Uh, Offenbarung 22, die Versen 1 und 2. It says, And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. So, so the river is right there where the throne is, right? So the Strom, also the Fluss, is gerade da, wo der Thron ist. And uh, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, there was the tree of life, which bare twelve manners, manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. So, the tree of life 
in the Garden Eden. Where was it situated? The Baum des Lebens im Garten Eden. Wo befand es sich? In the midst of the garden. In right? der Mitte des Gartens. And therefore, when the tree of life is on either side and the throne is in the middle, the throne is also in the midst of the garden. Also, wenn der Baum des Lebens inmitten ist und der Thron ist inmitten des Baumes, dann befindet sich der Thron auch inmitten des Gartens. Okay, it's in the midst of the city. Right? Es ist genau inmitten der Stadt. And here, the earthly cities they basically copy the heavenly pattern. Okay. Und die irdische Städte, die um, kopieren diese himmlischen Muster, himmlischen ja, Muster. Yes. And when you go and look at all these capital cities around the world, und wenn du all diese Hauptstädte um den ganzen Welt herum anschaust, you see that either a river runs through them, du kannst sehen, dass entweder fließt ein Fluss durch ihre Mitte, or a lake is ne next to them, oder ein See ist daneben, or the, the sea is next to them, oder das Meer ist daneben. Yeah, so always these great waters are right connected with this capital city. Immer mm. diese große Wassern sind in Verbindung mit diesen Hauptstadt. Uh, this is what made, makes them great, right? Das ist das, was sie groß machen. Yeah, the Lord uses the natural to illustrate the spiritual. Und der Herr okay. benutzt die Natu das Natürliche, um das Geistliche darzustellen. And when you go now to Vienna, und wenn du jetzt zu Wien gehst, you see basically that the, the government building is right in the midst of the city. Du kannst sehen, dass die Regierungsgebäude genau inmitten der Stadt ist. But yeah, this this greatest building in Vienna. Aber diese größte Gebäude in Wien. Yeah, this great tree in the sense. Okay. Diese große Baum in dem Sinne. Yes, this this building that we have here on on your notes. Right? Also in den Notizen gibt es ein Bild und das ist diese Gebäude links auf dem Bild. Yes, this DC Tower. Diese DC Turm. And what can you see? Where is it located? Und was konntet ihr sehen? Wo befindet sich diese Tür? Yes, next to the river. So okay. Genau neben dem Fluss. Just an illustration how this river made him great. Okay. Das ist uh, genau eine Darstellung von diesem Fluss, der ihn groß macht. And we saw that these great buildings are an illustration of uh, this pride and oppression and grinding down the poor. Okay. Und wir haben gesehen, dass diese großen Gebäude sind eine Darstellung von diesem Stolz der Menschen, in dem, dass sie den Armen uh, niedertreten. Yeah. And Nebuchadnezzar was told. Uh, show mercy to the poor again. Und Nebuchadnezzar würde gesagt, dass er sich den Armen erbarmen soll wieder. Yeah, all those that he oppressed. All diejenigen, die er unterdrückt hat. So, therefore we can see yeah, that uh, we can be very certain that uh, Vienna will be punished. So, deswegen können wir sicher sein, dass Wien bestraft wird. Uh, the government of Austria will be punished. So, die Regierung von Österreich wird auch bestraft werden. And if we understand things correctly, this tower will also be brought down. Und wenn okay. wir das alles richtig verstehen, dann wird dieser Turm zum Fall gebracht werden. Okay, or at least attack. Yeah, but, but must be brought down, right? This is what all these illustrations show. Okay. All diese Darstellungen sagen, dass dieser Turm zum Fall gebracht werden muss. Okay, so, yeah, therefore, uh, these are already some details, but obviously when we come here, so, dies sind natürlich einige Details, aber natürlich, wenn wir hier ankommen, yeah, the Lord will unfold much more things about it. Der Herr wird uns viel mehr darüber entfalten. So, at the moment, we cannot yet tell the kings this prediction. Yeah, we must wait until the point of time. So, okay. im Moment können wir diese Könige diese Vorhersage nicht geben, sondern wir müssen bis zur bestimmten Zeit warten. Yeah, but because obviously, it won't, it won't yeah. yes. Yes. Weil es wird nichts geschehen, bis nachdem der Vorhersage gegeben wurde. But obviously, uh, at the moment we study these things, and the Lord, as we go along, He will give us more and more information. Yeah. Natürlich, wir studieren diesen Sachen, und während wir vorangehen, der Herr gibt uns mehr und mehr Informationen dazu. And then eventually He can finalize it here. Okay. Und dann letztendlich kann er es finalisieren hier. Okay, Amen. Amen. Everybody could follow. Konnte jeder mitkommen? Okay. So we can see basically that. All these things they have huge implications. Okay. So we can see that all these things they they have from great importance. Yeah, and we study these things now on the whiteboard, but soon we will see them taking place in real life. Also, we study these things on the table, but soon we will see them in real life. Amen. Amen. Okay. Then may we take the heat and also not start abusing our power. So, okay. sollten wir denn ähm, die Warnung ähm, für uns persönlich wahrnehmen und unsere eigenen Macht nicht missbrauchen. And that we also don't allow high places to come in our minds. Okay. Und dass wir erlauben auch nicht, dass höhere Orte in unserem Verstand hineinkommen. Mm. The Lord does not need to come down and tread them down in 
our mind. Also, dass der Herr nicht herabsteigen muss und sie in unserem Verstand niedertreten muss. Amen. Amen. Okay, then let's close with prayer. Dann lasst uns mit Gebet schließen. Dear Father in heaven, Lieber Vater im Himmel, we want to thank you that uh, you have already shown us so many principles. Wir wollen dir danken, dass du uns bereits so viele Prinzipien gezeigt hast. And it's amazing that through these symbols you can give us clear and precise directions. Und es ist erstaunlich, dass du durch diesen Prinzipien uns klare Anweisungen ähm, äh, geben kannst. And that uh, we can then understand what these things represent in our time in real life so dass wir verstehen können was diese dinge in unserem echtzeit äh, darstellen and we ask you therefore to take heed that we would fulfill those characters in your word that are represented as righteous characters und so wir bitten dass du uns hilfst dass wir gerade die charaktere in der bibel die als gerecht dargestellt äh, gestellt werden erfüllt erfüllen and that we would take the warning from those characters that Uh, illustrated as those that uh, fell away and received uh, the curse justly. Und dass wir die Warnungen Wahrnehmung wahrnehmen uh, werden von all die biblische Charaktere, die als böse dargestellt werden, die gerechterweise wegfallen, äh, gefallen sind. And therefore please help us uh, to make sure that we are not the ones that exalt ourselves. So hilft uns, dass wir sicherstellen, dass wir sind nicht diejenigen, die sich uh, erhöhen. That we are not the ones that abuse our powers. Dass wir sind nicht diejenigen, die unsere äh, Kräften oder unsere Mächten äh, missbrauchen. That we are not the ones who grind down, down the poor. Dass wir sind nicht diejenigen, die den Armen unterdrücken. But that we would be the ones that would uphold and build and protect Sondern one another. Sondern dass wir diejenigen werden äh, oder unter diejenigen werden, die aufbauen und beschützen und äh, Gutes tun zu anderen. And we ask and pray these things in Jesus' name. Und wir bitten und beten diese Dinge in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen. Amen.